CS50 alumni who build billion dollar companies. Hey, what if I told you that Harvard's CS50, one of the most successful and popular beginner coding courses in the world, has been the launch pad for some of the most successful entrepreneurs in tech. In this video, we're going to look at a couple of people who started their coding journey through CS50 and eventually they went on to build billion dollar companies. Harvard's CS50 is legendary. It's known for turning absolute beginners into skilled programmers, whether you're taking it at Harvard or online for free. This course has changed thousands of lives, including mine and including some of the world's top entrepreneurs. So the first one on this list is Brian Chesky and Joe Gebbia from Airbnb. And so the three of us got together and we said, we basically had this core idea. We said, what if you could book someone's home the way you could book a hotel anywhere in the world? Did you guys know that the co-founders of Airbnb took CS50? Back when they were still figuring things out, they knew they needed to understand tech and they took CS50 to strengthen their coding skills, which helped them launch the first version of Airbnb. And now it's worth well over a hundred billion dollars. I don't know if Airbnb was like their final project for CS50, but wouldn't that be cool if your final project turns into a billion dollar company? Second person in this list is Kevin Sistrom. He created Instagram. About eight weeks after making that decision, we had Instagram and we launched it in the store and, and a month in had nearly a million users. Before founding Instagram, Kevin wasn't a professional programmer. He took CS50 to get comfortable with coding like all of us who start with CS50 and that knowledge helped him develop Instagram's early prototype. The app quickly became a social media giant, eventually selling to Facebook for one billion. Third person in the list is Drew Houston from Dropbox. So Drew Houston, the founder of Dropbox, took CS50 at Harvard before building his billion dollar cloud storage empire and CS50 gave him the foundation to build the first version of Dropbox, a product that changed how people store and share files. So based on what I've researched, it seems like Dropbox was his final project for CS50. I'm not 100% sure, I don't have good sources on this, but that would already be the second person in this list that turned their final project into a billion dollar company. Fourth person on the list, Paul English from Kayak. Paul English, co-founder of Kayak, took CS50 while studying at Harvard. His deep understanding of computer science helped him develop the travel search engine that revolutionized how people book flights and hotels. Kayak was later acquired for nearly $2 billion. The fifth person in this list is Mark Zuckerberg from Facebook. Very famously, he was studying at Harvard when he created Facebook. There's even a movie about it. He has spoken, you can find this video online. He has spoken at CS50. He has talked about his experience with CS50. Now he did come into college already knowing how to code, but he is an alumni of CS50 and he did start a billion dollar company. Number six on the list, Sam Yagen from OKCupid okay and Sparknotes. I used Sparknotes all the time when I was in high school. Sam Yagen, the co-founder of OKCupid okay and Sparknotes, took CS50 and used his computer science knowledge to revolutionize online dating and digital education. OkCupid okay became one of the biggest dating platforms before being acquired by Match Group for about $50 million. Next person on this list is Tom Preston from GitHub. GitHub really is the best place for people to work on software projects together. And really this is about bringing large collections of people together to work on hard problems. Because especially in software, the problems that we face today require large teams of people working together. And we should know more about this because we use GitHub every single day. We code on a GitHub code space to turn in our homework for CS50. So Tom, the co-founder of GitHub, took CS50 and used his skills to help build the world's most popular platform for code collaboration. And GitHub was actually acquired by Microsoft eventually for $7.5 billion. 
Number eight on the list is Adam D'Angelo from Quora. And Quora is one of the most popular networking sites in the world. It's on par with Twitter and Reddit. And Adam was a former CTO of Facebook. Eventually he founded Quora and he started his coding journey at CS50. And eventually he went on to create an app which serves millions of users worldwide today. Ninth on the list is Louis Von Ahn from Duolingo and ReCAPTCHA. ReCAPTCHA is a service that we probably use on a daily basis whenever we're on a website and it asks us to verify that we're human. And so Lewis took CS50 and leveraged his knowledge to create a very innovative and elegant solution to two problems, basically. On the one hand, you had people who wanted to learn and read books for free online. And on the other hand, you had this cybersecurity challenge that needed to be solved for. So what he did is he blended them together. The need to digitalize books and to make them available to people would come from the work, quote unquote, that people have to do in order to prove that they're human. Whenever you do a reCAPTCHA and you type in what's on the picture, the picture is actually coming from a book. And by you typing that, or probably by multiple people typing the same thing, it digitalizes that book. Basically, he implemented a freemium model and used crowdsourced translation tasks to generate revenue while keeping language learning accessible. Social media company Reddit getting ready to make its public debut right here at the New York Stock Exchange. Reddit CEO Steve Huffman and our own Julie Morrison. And Morrison's the 10th person in this list is Steve Huffman, co-founder of Reddit, took CS50 and applied what he learned to create one of the largest online discussion platforms. Reddit is pretty much on par with Twitter and with other social apps so what can we learn from them? CS50 isn't just a course, it's more of a mindset. These entrepreneurs didn't just learn how to code and that's it, they didn't just turn in their homeworks. They actually looked around their world and looked for problems to solve. And by taking the course, they learned how to solve problems. They learned how to think critically and build scalable tech solutions. So if you've made it this far into the video, I would recommend you go check out CS50 if you're interested in learning how to code. Again, it's a commitment. You really should be doing two hours per day of serious coding with them. But if you stick with it and you do it every day over the course of a few months, maybe even up to a year, you will see results. And who knows, maybe next time I do one of these videos, you will be in this list.